Welcome back, you beautiful weirdos. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're having an amazing day. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Marla Chris. So Model One sent over a few of their collab cream gel palettes, and I was so excited to play with them. I It's been a minute since I played with the cream gels, and I really enjoy them. They're so user-friendly, very beginner-friendly too. So I'm going to show you real-time tips and tricks along the way. Every single one of their cream gel palettes does come with a gel application brush, which is amazing. So here are the three palettes that they sent over. Huge shout out, by the way, to Model Ones for sponsoring today's video and continuing to support my channel. I super appreciate it. It's because of companies like Model Ones who sponsor videos, support my channel, that keeps me being able to do what I do with you guys. So I super appreciate it. So here's a peek into each one of these beautiful palettes. One of them, can you guys guess? Pause the video and guess which one I decided to play with. Anyways, the first thing I want to do is prime the gel brush. This is super important. I'm going to take a little bit of gel base coat and I'm going to take the nail art brush that comes with these palettes and I'm going to quote unquote prime the brush. I'm going to get it dampened with a little bit of that gel base. This is really going to help prevent your cream gels from looking very streaky on the nail. The first two nails I'm going to do are pearlized metallic-ish we're going to do a cute little swirl technique. So I'm not concerned about that being streaky at all, but solids, you don't want to look streaky and the gel base trick will really help prevent that. You'll see that a little bit later. So for the first two nails, I debated. I really love that greenish blue color on the bottom. And if you'll notice, all the colors in each row are so perfectly coordinated. I am obsessed. So I decided to go with this beautiful pearlized metallic y duo chrome. You just wait. Pink color. I'm going to get that on two nails. They'll be my two little accent nails. And the swirl technique I'm going to use later makes this manicure. I did not even realize this pink polish had this lavender shift duochrome and it made sense after the fact because it's paired with a lavender which i'm going to use later but it is so incredibly gorgeous i had considered just doing this color on its own but i really wanted to pair it with a lavender that way it would pop that lavender duochrome out a little bit in the shade absolutely beautiful y'all just have to wait so i'm going to go ahead and get this on again two nails i'm going to do three total coats the third coat we're going to do a little something special too. So I wanted some base layers. That way when I do the little swirly technique, there's still some opaque background to it. They're not completely opaque. They're a little bit sheer, but I think that's the point of this particular color. So once I have it on the nails, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 30 second cure. These cure just like regular gel polishes do. So 30 seconds and they're good to go. I'm going to do my second coat, same exact way I did the first coat cure that for another 30 seconds. So when I come back, we'll do the third coat and I'll show you how to swirl these and get these looking gorgeous. So I got that second coat completely cured. Now we're going to go in with coat number three, and this is where the magic is going to happen. I have been so obsessed with this swirl technique. I'm calling it the pearl swirl because I don't know what else to call it. Is it a new trend? I hope so because I love it. So I'm going to apply the same pink shade, pink, pearly, lavender, chromey. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to get this on the nail the same exact way that I applied the first two coats. Nothing different. I'm not going to cure it yet, though. What I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take a very, very teeny tiny dotting tool. You do not need a dotting tool to do this. You can use a toothpick, an orange wood stick, whatever teeny tiny little something, a needle, not like a hypodermic or anything like that, like a, <laughs> like a sewing needle maybe. And what you're going to do is create little or big, whatever size you want, little swirls going up and down or side to side, whatever pattern you feel like doing. And we're going to swirl the entire surface of that nail. And this is what it looks like. This is when I saw the lavender pop out and I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my God. This is stunning. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other nail. Just as an aside and a little tip, if you guys are doing this kind of thing on press-ons, this is why I wear gloves. Well, a glove. Uh, I'm, I'm Michael Jackson out here with the glove on one hand because I don't want I don't want to get product on my skin. You should never get gel product on your skin. Try to avoid that at all costs because the last thing you want is contact dermatitis or a gel allergy. Nobody wants to deal with that. So I like to take precaution and wear a glove, especially if I'm doing press-ons, especially because I have cats. I have a house full of cats. I have five. And am I crazy cat lady? It's arguable, but the answer is, is yes. Um, so I have cat hair literally floating around my house at all times. So there is cat hair going. To, it's going to be in my manicure. It's just the way it is. So I wear gloves so I can pick out the cat hair so not worry about touching the gel. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get these two nails completely cured. Another 30 seconds. And then we're going to move on to the lavender. And wait till you see how creamy and buttery this lavender color is. Oh my goodness. So those have been fully baked. 30 seconds is all you need. This lavender shade. Oh, let me show you how to switch colors real quick. So I'm going to wipe off any excess polish that's on that gel brush. Then I'm going to take a little bit more of that gel base coat that I used earlier to prime my brush. And I'm going to use that to clean out any excess pigment that is stuck in those brush, brush, brushels, bristles. Bris bristles, <laughs> brush bristles. And then you can go right in with your next color. Super easy to transition from shade to shade, but you do want to clean out your brush. If you want to wipe it off on a paper towel, you can totally do that too, just to get as much excess off as possible. And then you can safely dip into your new color. Um, a couple of more quick tips for you guys. Number one, especially if you're new to gel and you may not realize this, if you are um, using gels in front of your gel lamp, make sure you move them out of the way when you go to cure because you don't want to cure your entire thing, especially in a palette like this. Uh, by the way, I'm contemplating which color I want to do, just so you know what I'm doing. I kept this all real time. I'm not really editing anything out because I wanted you guys to see how long it generally takes me to do a set like this with the cream gels, but I digress. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. Totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> Anyways, while I consider what the hell I was talking about, I'm going to start getting that lavender shade on the nail and look how creamy and buttery it is. It just applies so beautifully, so seamlessly. And a lot of that is in part of the fact that I primed that brush with a gel base. It really helps prevent any streaking. If you've tried cream gel or pudding gel in the past and you've noticed it just applies so streaky, try priming your brush. It makes a world of difference. And this color is so pigmented and beautiful. I'm only going to do two coats of it because I didn't need to do any more coats of it. <laughs> ah, got my train of thought back. Okay, so with a palette like this, it's not like a gel polish in a bottle where you can put your brush in the bottle, close your lid, and it's safe. This palette is going to cure if you leave it out in front of your gel lamp. So you're going to want to shut the lid, put it to the side, that way you don't cure the whole thing all together. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the second nail, get them cured. I'm gonna do one more full coat and then all we have to do is top coat.
So because these cream gels are so thick and viscous, they don't level as well as gel polish does. So I like to flip it over upside down to help out that leveling process, let gravity do its thing, give it a cure for 30 seconds, and now we're ready to top coat. I'm gonna use my Model Ones gel top coat. It's one of my faves. I'm just gonna throw that on real quick, give it a 60 second cure, and that is literally the entire manicure. As mentioned, this whole thing is in real time. The only thing that I edited out was some of the cure time because I don't want to sit here and watch <laughs> a, a lamp on for 30 seconds, 60 seconds. I'm sure you guys don't either. So that is literally the only thing I have edited out. I did speed up that top coat real quick because y'all know how to top coat nails. I did flip it over upside down to level out for just a second. And here is the finished manicure. I could not wait to get these on my nails. So without further ado, here is the set um, completely installed. I'm literally obsessed. This is giving me total Barbie vibes. I don't know why, but for me, it's screaming Barbie. I hope you guys like the video. Thanks again to Model Ones for sponsoring the video. Thank you guys for spending some of your day with me today. I hope the rest of your day is as beautiful as you are, and I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.